Awesome folks, this is Mentor Shelly wanting to make sure that you become a better version of yourself professionally. I want you guys to always remember that in life, setbacks are important. It teaches us lessons about ourselves, it teaches us lessons about where we are going and what we're doing. Sometimes it's never going to be a straight line road ahead. Black entrepreneurism. Like achieving the career you truly want. You're going to have ups and downs and setbacks and this and that and whatever. So, I'm going to give you guys this. <laughs> Something crazy happened to me yesterday. And I learned from this experience. I just wanted to give my body a break from food, per se. Wanted to go on a few days of fasting and... I was like, okay, I'll just just do water fasting for a couple of days. Seemed innocent enough. Problem is, you have no idea where your energy levels are going to be when you do that. Ha. Hence the falling asleep on the second day. On the job. Can't do that. So, <laughs> I uh, proceeded to say, okay, well, I need to put something good in my system thinking, okay, like the other times I've done water fasting, I'm able to just eat anything I want right after my stomach has been working on cleaning out itself. No, 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 no. I learned yesterday, you can't do that. There is repercussions and circumstances and uh, results that you weren't looking for that will come with that. So, um, Let's just put it this way. I had a smoothie with some other stuff for breakfast. I said, okay. My coworker wanted to uh, introduce me to a new taco place. I said, okay, let's go check it out. I tried some of her tacos and then had like calamari. <laughs> oh boy. You have no idea what your body is doing and cleaning out and you have visceral reactions to things. I had no idea trying some of her tacos and I guess putting all that stuff in my system was not a good idea. In my quest to try to give my body a break from food. I ended up upsetting my body and my body responded very violently. Let's just say my lunge um, kind of ended up in a trash can. So, valuable lesson learned from that experience. When fasting, keep the foods natural and unprocessed when you're coming off. I should have known that before, but I was like, oh, it's not going to be that much. I'm only trying some things. <sighs> Valuable lesson learned. In life, in business, and in your career. <laughs> You'll try, you know, things that don't necessarily work for you. So, I learned from that valuable experience. Not to test the waters when it comes to my intestines. My intestines are saying, I need real food. I need real food. Kind of like your career. I need you to make real moves. I need you to make real moves. Not this, oh, I was talking to my homeboy about a job in construction versus I'm going to meetups to engage with other people that are working construction or I'm scheduling some meetings with people that are in construction so I can see what kind of needs they have. There's a difference. You can kind of sort of do it and kind of dip your toe in something or you can actually jump feet first to try to associate and start, you know, networking with people that are in the industry. Don't do it like me. I'm trying to test the waters with my body. <laughs> visceral reactions there so I say all of that to say this 
in your career and in my quest to give my body a break, I made a mistake. I made the wrong choice. We make wrong choices all the time, but it's how you recover from those wrong choices that makes a difference. So I want you guys, if you're in a career that you despise or you hate or you're not feeling fulfilled anymore, be brave enough to say, well, you know what? This is not working for me anymore and I want to do something different. So in that case, um, you definitely want to um, figure what your new career venture is going to be. You can start by going to mentorshelly.com forward slash DCG. You can go there, download the free dream career guide and um, get the guide. Don't, act, don't, don't just download the guide to download it. Actually use it by putting, you know, whatever questions are there, answer those questions. It'll help to start pulling your brain and start, you know, you can actually talk to people that you trust also to kind of get a better vibe or get a better feel for what it is that you really should be doing if you don't have any idea yourself. But use the guide as the initial compass to start that process. And of course, if you're ser you know, if you're more serious about that and you want to, you know, work with me one-on-one -on -one to figure out what your dream career is, then you can definitely um, check out my other resource at mentorshelly.com forward slash services forward slash career strategy where we can work together and um, come up with a written audio strategy for your next move in your career for the next, you know, one to five years. But of course, you know, anything worth having does not happen overnight. So you got to put in the work in order for you to see the results you want. But in putting in the work, we make wrong choices. We learn from them. We move on. We're better individuals. In my case, health-wise, and in your case, career-wise. All right, guys, take care. This is Mentor Shelley, wanting to make sure that you become a better version of yourself professionally. As you learn that roadblocks are your <clears throat> are the ladders that will be that will take you to your breakthrough. Take care, guys. Have a good one. Bye.